Well, how's it going today there, YouTube? Well, today we're going to head up to the big Georgian Bay Steam Show in Cookstown, Ontario. Not quite sure what they feature. I think it's I think it's Massey, Fer or Massey Harris or other, but I can't remember. But anyway, we'll go up and take a look. But first, I gotta get a coffee because I was out kind of late last night at one of those uh, Trucks of Ontario meets. I would have done that little video, but it was kind of dark. The meet didn't really start until about 8 30, 9 o'clock, and it's starting to get kind of dark. So, with that. Uh, notion, I guess we'll get the truck started up here and I never get tired of that sound. But anyway, we'll uh, we're gonna head up and we'll uh, see you soon. All right, well we made it up. We got uh, that was right. It was Matthew Harris this year. That's all right. That's there's still a uh, nice look at. We got this little S case character here. The separator behind it. I'm not sure what kind of separator that is. Dion separator. Dion, I think they're, what I've been told, they're a pretty good machine. Well, I guess we'll start in here, I guess. That's a 44. Nice little Massey 30. Bit of extra chrome. Another Massey 30. 101 Junior. Forty four Wheatland. There's no lad there. That's got those F and H front wheels on it. Same as the old eighteen twenty eight Scott. That's a real nice forty four there. Ninety five propane. Now these 95s, these were the same, uh, that's actually a Minneapolis Moline motor in that, with the three heads on it, they got three individual cylinder heads. I don't, I don't think there's a plate on there, I'll show you guys. I don't see uh, stamping or anything either. I think that was the same as a G6 Minneapolis Moline. See here, I'll try to explain right quick. Those flat spoke wheels, those are actually cut down wheels. So that this tractor was originally on steel wheels, and they uh, cut the steel rims off and then put the rubber tires on it. You know what? I have an idea of what I'm going to do in my future. Oh. John, you must be confused. It's down to Massey Harris or Massey Ferguson. <laughs> Mustang. Forty-four. Forty-four is kind of nice with a wide front on them. Massey Pony, there's a lot of those sold. And then uh, Massey Harris made gas engines too. Hmm. 102 Junior. Never actually seen one of these in person till now. It's a real, real, real early one, of course. 201. 744 is an English tractor. English. It's English. 
pulled up in 05 Massey Ferguson. Nice little 44 standard. That's I like those little 44s. I might uh, there was one for sale on Kijiji. I believe it was in Barry not too long ago. I don't remember who had it though. General tractor. These are actually made by Kleetrack. Five, five, five. It's basically the same as a 55, just uh, a little bit different paint scheme on them. Same with a 333. There's a nice little WD 45 Alice Chalmers. Three 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 with a little bit extra different paint scheme on them. Alright, might as well continue before too many people get here. Got lots and lots of garden tractors. Now oh, actually I was gonna want to look at this little cub cadet here because one there's one of these for sale up in Keswick there. That uh, Bishop Fire Supply, I've been thinking about it. I might pick it up for a project. This is a pretty straight little tractor, but it's, it needs paint and a few little things, so it might be a neat, might make a neat little project to put on YouTube or something. So I don't know, I'm to see how things go. I don't have much wants for it yet, I haven't asked for it. But here we go, a little miniature Cockshot 30. That's kind of neat. Oh, we got a big 460 gas here. Farmall M. Super H. W400. Cub. John D. Linden Crawler. Alley. Co ops. Shot 50. That'd be nice to have. That's pretty cleaned up nice. Very nice. Seventeen fifty-five cock shut. Twenty-two fifty-five white. That's the same Oliver White and I think there was a even a cock shot to twenty-two fifty-five I think at one time. All the same track is with a different paint job on them. 1870 white. 4320 down here. 550 Oliver. That's nice. That's the same as my cousin's 550 cock shots. even got the same grill on it. Carmel C. Super C. Super M. MTA. Here's a Super MTA. You got a John Deere two row check row corn planter. I think it's a check row. Looks like it. Got a 420 John Deere. A John Deere 60. 30 cock shot. AR John Deere. DC4 case. David Brown. We used to have a, or another one of my uncles used to have a 990 David Brown. 400 of the wide front. 656 farm all. Nice D21. 3288, 5088, 5488. Someone's, I think, reworked those. Those are pretty clean. Really, these tracks aren't all that old. They're made back near the 80s there. Super M. Co-op. E4. That's the same as a 40 cock shot. CA Alice Chalmers. Farmall A. That'd be a Ford McCormick. It looks like he's got Farmall H wheels on the back of it. It's kind of different. Never, never seen that before. 730 Wheatland 820 8M Ford Super A Farmall 
Here's some of the real old stuff over here. Another co-op. There's a rummy oil pool. Really well cleaned up. Really nice. Now I've got a video I haven't posted it yet. On the when I was down the farm, we took our old rummy for a little ride. I might post. I should post that video up. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. Another big rummy there. Oh, there's the famous John Deere D. John Deere 3010. Very clean AR John Deere. Of course, one of my personal favorites, the uh, old square body Oliver 99. Of course, you all know the story on that one. My grandfather owned that tractor once about 45 years ago, give or take. And you can always tell because uh, I believe he had that plate welded on the front end. I don't exactly remember the story right now, but uh, that might be another video. Got a 550 dollar John Deere B. 50. Which is kind of neat to see him side by side because the 50s replaced the John Deere B's. And a uh, 40 standard. MT wide front. BR John Deere on the cut down wheels again. The BNG has these uh, round spokes in the rear end too, but these are the row crop version of the F and H wheels. Twenty nine fifty John Deere. That's kind of new. Nineteen eighty eight. Well, I guess it's not really new, but it's newer. He's got new tires on it too. 2130, John Deere B, John Deere 40, and a 110, a couple pedal tractor jobs there. That WD 45 diesel right there. Another rummy oil pull. Alice Chalmers WD. BF Avery. These are basically based on that Clee Track General we were looking at earlier there. There's the Eagle, that's the uh, Simcoe County Museum. That might be another nice video to go up there and make, Cal. Uh, they're not too far away. There's a little bit north of Barry there. I forget what, I think it's off uh, Bayfield Street. Take that up there, they're off that of ways. Another Rumley. AR. Oh, here we go. Here's a heart par. 1224. Uncle's got one of those sitting in the shed down the farm. But you guys will see that if you watch that tractor tour video. Another BR. These are kind of cute little tractors, I guess. Not too big to haul around. Really nice little cock shot 60. Got a rum the oil pull yet again. Case with a blade on it. I think you saw that last year. Minneapolis tractor. Oh, another hard power. There we go. 1836. We missed that one the first time we come by the Massey Harris display here. This is one of Sherwood Hume's tractors. You'll see this one at Milton here in about a month's time. And that's kind of a early crawler Massey Harris. Like a general purpose tractor. I think they call it just the general purpose. Crank start. Well, we got a few steam engines this year. Sawyer Massey. Get the line on the front. I don't remember what that is now. Waterloo engine. 
got two Waterloo engines and then another Sawyer Massey. Saw your massive steam engine on the sawmill here. That's better than the one they got at Athens. Athens they got that uh, Oliver 2050, but the, the government doesn't change too much on that, so this makes it work nice. Next up, we got Nigel Van Dyke on a Thermal Super F on deck. He's on electric. He's on electric on deck. Yep, you are bullish. You ready? Uh, around of all the cars we got here at Cookstown this year. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Chev truck. I think that's going to do it for the Cookstown show this year. I'll probably come back up tomorrow and get a little bit more footage, but uh, I'm going to head home and edit this up and get it up for you guys. So uh, hit the videos. Stay tuned.